Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we are going to discuss object prototype in JavaScript. Before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. Till now, we came across several different ways of creating an object in JavaScript, right? We can create an object using the object literal method or we can do it with the help of the constructor function. So by now, I hope you guys are aware of how to create an object and how to add properties and methods to an object. Like we can create methods that perform several specific tasks. If we talk about a method in particular, if you guys remember in the previous video, we created a program for the area and the parameter of a rectangle. So in that program, we created a method getArea, which returns the area of the rectangle, right? So we had to call that method and we can sit back and relax because we know that it will print the area of the rectangle, right? So let's move ahead and today we will discuss a completely new topic which is prototypes in JavaScript. So for this video we are going to use console for printing. That's because it will be easy for you guys to understand the concept of prototypes if we use the console instead of using our normal document.write method. So let me do one thing guys. We'll print a statement on the console. So we'll write here console.log and we'll print, let's say, welcome to simply code. So let's save this. And if we open console here in our browser, we have to go to inspect and then we have to go to console. And here you can see we have welcome to simply code written over here. So in the last video, we talked about creating an object with the help of object literal method, right? So let's suppose we are creating an object here with the help of same object literal method. So what we have to do, we have to create an empty object first. So let's say our object name is ABC and we'll use the curly braces here. So what we have to do is we have to pass the properties here. So let's suppose our properties are name and the value of name, let's say caution followed by a comma. And then we have, let's say subject value of subject will be, let's say JavaScript. And then finally we have the address. So let's say the value of address is Bangalore, right? This is a basic object we made, right? If we write here console.log ABC. So if we want to print this object on the console, so what we'll do here, we'll write console.log and then we'll use ABC. So let's save this now. And here you can see on the console that we have our object here. So we have our object with all the three properties. We have address as Bangalore. We have name as Kaushal and subject as JavaScript. So if you guys look here carefully, you will notice that we have one more entity here. That is we have underscore underscore proto. So what is this underscore underscore proto? So, all right, we mentioned all the other three properties in our object, but we didn't do anything for this underscore underscore proto. So let's discuss this now. Let's take a scenario wherein someone told us to create a website. Like let's suppose we have to make a travel website through which people can book their travel destinations. Now, do we have to start creating the website from scratch? No, that's because we have some of the necessary conditions already fulfilled. Like we have Chrome, we already have bootstrap for styling and all, and we can use bootstrap to design a website, right? So we have certain things already present and we have to work over them to create our website. Similarly, prototype refers to the destination from where we started to create an object. Like we have methods for arrays, we have objects and strings as well. So all these methods are being inherited from somewhere. So whenever we create an object using the object literal method, then it will start creating the object from the object dot prototype. So if we click here on the underscore underscore proto, we have access to a list of methods already present within the object dot prototype. So, and all of them are predefined. We can use any of them. We didn't define them. They are already present. We define only these three properties. Like we defined address, name and subject only. In simple words, all JavaScript objects inherits properties and methods from a prototype. Date objects inherit from date.prototype. 
and similarly when we use array objects they inherit from array dot prototype so the object dot prototype is on the top of the prototype inheritance chain so date objects array objects and person objects all these objects inherit their properties from object dot prototype so moving on now let's create another object so we talked about the object literal method so here we don't have too much to do so let's move ahead and we'll create another object this time we'll create it with the help of a constructor function so let's create a function here first let's say we have a function named as function xyz so then we have the parameters as name and then we have we'll take all these three properties we'll take name subject and let's say address so then we have the body of the function inside which we'll use the this keyword we'll write here this dot name equals to name similarly this dot address equals to address and finally we have this dot subject equals to subject so we'll create an instance now let's say we are creating an object let's say our object name is where x1 and we'll write here new and then we'll write xyz and we'll pass the values so let's say the name is kaushal and we have subject as let's change the subject we'll write here java and we have finally have the address let's say the address is earth okay so the values are different from the previous example we took what we'll do now we'll write here console.log and we'll print x1 now so we are done creating a object and here we have a constructor function named xyz and then we have few properties which are the same as we used in the previous example so then we have an object named x1 which holds the values for all three properties and lastly we printed the object on the console so let's save it now and we can see here in console we have the object with all the properties there's almost no difference here from the object literal method right but when we click here on the proto here we can encounter the difference now you can see here we have one more entity here named as the constructor so this constructor here has its own prototype so this constructor here has its own prototype if we use a constructor in a program it always has its own prototype this might seem a bit difficult to you guys but don't worry it will be apparent to you guys once we move on to the usage and modifications of prototype so here we are with the two examples in the first one we created an object uh, with the help of object literal method there we saw that it has only a single prototype that is the object prototype later when we moved on to the constructor function method we realized that there are two different prototypes present one is the prototype which is available every time that is the object dot prototype and the other one is the constructor's own prototype it might sound a little hard to you guys but prototype is nothing but it refers to the point from where it all started from where we have inherited all the properties so we can make changes to the prototype of our own object like if we want to add something to our prototype we can do it we have a method for that in javascript we'll do it later in this video we can't make changes to the object prototype remember this thing guys i'll suggest you not to edit the object dot prototype because it's not a good practice to make changes in that if we want to edit any prototype then we have to make sure that we are making changes in our own prototype that we made with the help of constructors the prototype made by us is also inherited from the object dot prototype if we want to make another prototype here we can do it like if we are going to add utility functions to our program but at the same time we don't want to do anything with the properties of our constructor function we can make another prototype for that we can create a prototype for separate method so if we want to add a method in this constructor function we can do it we can add it separately with the help of prototypes so for that we have to follow a syntax a particular syntax we can do it this way like we have to write here xyz dot prototype and then we have to write the method name let's say we are writing here get name fine we'll write here function and then we have the body of the function so let's suppose this method returns the name 
so we'll write here return this dot name so if we try to run this program now we can see there's no difference from the previous one but if we check the prototypes now so here you can see we have another prototype named as get name so this is how we can edit the prototype of our object now if we try to access this get name method with the help of x1 object so we can do it so let's try to do it on console we'll write here x1 dot get name and see here we have the output as caution similarly let's create one more prototype here to remove any sort of confusion so what we'll do we'll create another prototype so let's say we are creating a prototype for address now so what we'll do we'll write here xyz dot prototype dot get address so it will be a method so we'll write here function we don't have to pass any parameters here so let's suppose it returns the value of address so we'll write here this dot address and we are good to go so let's save it now and if we go to pro underscore underscore proto we can see we have one more prototype here named as get address so what we have to do now is we'll make another object let's say we are copying this from here we'll paste it here so let's change the values let's say we write here mars and then we have let's change the subject basically because we are looking for the subject so let's change this value as well let's say we have here simply code and we'll change the name of the object let's say we have x2 now save it and if we write here x2 dot let's say get name so here you can see the output as simply code similarly if we write here instead of get name we write here get address so here you can see the output as mars because the value we passed while creating the object is mars here so we can access this value directly using the prototype method so if we use the object constructor function if you guys remember we cannot add a new property to an existing object for example if we try to add a property here let's say if we try to add a property to this existing function what we can write here is xyz dot grades let's say the grade is a so if we save this now here you can see there's nothing changed here so we don't have any change in the prototypes or we don't have any changes in the properties as well so we simply can't add a property to an existing function like this but we have a method for this also so to add a new property to a constructor we must add it to the constructor function or we can use the prototype property here as well so the javascript prototype property allows us to add new properties to a object constructor just like we added the methods to our constructor function previously similarly we can add properties as well so we have to write here so we'll remove this line we have to write here xyz dot prototype and then we have to write the property name here let's say we are writing here grades and then we'll pass the value let's say the grade is a so if we save this now and if we go back here and if we check the underscore underscore proto so here you can see we have a property here named as grades and the value is a so if we try to print x1 dot grade in our console so the output will be a so let's try to do it here we'll write here x2 dot grades and here you can see the value is a here so we can add a property to an existing constructor function with the help of prototype method so this is the basic usage of prototypes in javascript we can use prototypes to add a property or a method to an already existing constructor function so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through prototypal inheritance in javascript if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you